Hello guys, welcome to this new and exciting episode and in today's episode I'm actually excited I have to share this crazy uh, setup that you can actually take. You can make this on your signature trade, okay? Considering that you are level counting, you are doing BTMM, you are doing even market structure, price and whatever. So now let's take a look at this. So you can actually see that on this left panel of the screen I've got the ideal cycle that we always talk about you have level one level two level three right and the the, the the signature trade that I want to talk about today is called the ID 50 which is the intraday bounce and is actually found on any of the time frames because remember you can actually find those levels on any of those time frames so right now let's see what actually happens right so if you can actually see on this right panel of the screen you can also see that we are level one level two level three then we had our peak formation and low right so sorry about that we have our peak formation high so once we reach our peak formation we always have something like a level drop right so this level drop okay is actually level one right even on i don't know we'll talk about okay so if you can actually look on the left panel of the screen you can actually see that we had level one level two level three right and our peak formation high area right so once we reach our peak, once we once we reached our peak formation we had this level one drop right here and many people would wonder what would definitely happen right here so a peak formation actually illustrates whereby we would have something like a trend reversal pattern right so here is what is actually let me remove those things there on the screen forget about those so what happens here remains a mystery right so considering that we have found our trend reversal patterns and stuff okay we would definitely expect the market to do this then continue going down right so this is the pattern that we'll definitely be talking about today let me move to another screen right and this type of a trade or pattern is actually called the id50 as i've stated earlier is the intraday bounce so if i can take a look at this you can actually see that we had our level one here level two level three right then we had our peak formation as i've stated earlier then level one drop here and okay so on your chart you have to put the exponential moving average 50 i'll definitely show you how to do that right and if you can do this if you can okay so as i have stated earlier on the previous episode on chat patterns i'll definitely leave the link in the description if you can touch here this point and the neck right and the neck of the peak you will definitely see something crazy right the market will definitely always bounce to this point here then go in your preferred direction right and if you are using btmm you can actually see that also at that point there will be an ema 50 as i've stated right remember the this type of trade is actually called the e the, the id 50 right okay this is actually like you know episode one of this thing we we'll definitely need to explain more about this so right now i'm actually shifting to the real chart and show you what i'm talking about right here so as you can see right here this is the h1 time frame right this that uh, this is something like the h1 time frame let me do this so you can actually see right here we had our peak formation low then we had our level one up to here then level two then level three right so as a matter of fact you definitely have to expect the id 50 right and the first id 50 is this zone here right you can actually call it the the the, the it's, there was a reset there but we have to talk about this first before anything else remember three levels on a smaller time frame is actually one level and a bigger time frame so this one is a bit affected but we want to talk about this point so remember you have to press this point where is our level two here level one level two right to come back to here so you press here first for your price action then you find the neck of the find the neck of the what of the peak formation which is here so these are good entry points you can actually see this was a stop and okay we'll definitely talk about that because it's a v tricky you can actually see that we are still on our peak formation so right now let me add my um my features manager moving average so you go where it's written insert then indicators then custom you go down like crazy then custom here you are actually going to put red because sorry you're actually going to put aqua or blue and parameters close he said so here you're actually going to write 50 then where it's written smooth you are actually going to put exponential then okay so first things first you can actually see that we were here so this point here was our first id 50 then as i stated earlier let me go to my pen here 
remember we said something like this if you are on a bigger time frame would be having something like this like a clear m then on a smaller time frame we'll be having something like this like the first m then t this do this do this right so it's actually one and the same thing right considering that this is only happening on a bigger time frame then this on a smaller time frame so this is what is actually happening here so on an h4 time frame this will be the first leg of the m right then this one the second leg so as a matter of fact we had our, the, the, our peak formation was still continuing right and you can actually see that we had our id 50 right here it's, it's just here this is our pullback to the exponential moving average we'll definitely talk more about this concept it's, it's actually one of the best concepts out there it's that trade that's that's rewarding and stuff right so if you are that person who uses price action you're actually going to touch this one point here right you can actually see that there is still something that's going on here one two right so what i'm what i'm expect, what i'm actually expecting here is for price to do something like this because you can actually see that there is liquidity down up here so i'm anticipating price to create a clear m here then go down to here and if i was to track this trade i was actually going to buy first up at this point and then sell again right so this is like the, the 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 backbone of this kind of a setup okay guys i love you i appreciate you i will definitely create something like a long course on this one yeah i just gave you a trailer of what actually happens thank you guys for watching thank you love you so much don't forget to subscribe